please give me a ride? I can't do it. I can't marry him. In that case, jump on board. Just get me out of here, please. I live in Vinewood Hills, Kimball Hill Drive. Oh, God, thank you so much. I was starting to think nobody was going to stop. People see a girl screaming in a wedding dress and they assume, crazy? He's the crazy one, not me. Talk about anger issues. No, I couldn't go through with it. I'm not ready. Oh, just the thought of waking up next to that caveman every morning for the rest of my life. Oh, it gives me hives. Why is it men turn into such douchebags? It's all... Oh my god! No! I think that's him! He's coming after me! What the hell do you think you're doing? Leave me alone! I'm done with you! You're done where I say you're done! Get me away from him, please! I can't go back there! Haha, <laughs> you know, I, I think you can do better. Oh no! For fuck's sakes! I never want to see... Who the hell do you think you are? Now please take me home. I can't wait to get out of this stupid dress. Anything for the bride on her special day. I should never have let it go this far. Oh God, what's my dad going to say? He spent 10 grand just on ice sculptures Lucky for the reception. Miss. We had these cute little cell phone covers made with our photo on them. It was going to be so fabulous. I can only imagine. Oh God, I hope they don't make me give back the gifts. Ugh, whatever. Anything to be rid of him. And at least I lost all that weight. What did you ever see in that guy? On paper, he was perfect. Rich, successful, the big car, the house in Vinewood Hills. And he was nice to me sometimes after the rages. I thought I could change him. Are you married? Mm, no. If you can believe it, nobody snapped me up yet. And I know he did some hooker on his bachelor party, but he just kept smiling and talking about his stupid bro path. You know, he told me once that infidelity doesn't count out of state. Well, guess who's got the honeymoon tickets? Two can play at that game. I might even get pregnant. I'll have some Greek waiter's baby, see how he likes that. There was no way I was having kids with that Neanderthal. The thought of perpetuating his DNA, ugh, I couldn't do that to the world. He really let one get away with you, didn't he? You should see his friends. They were all there, hungover, grinning like a bunch of slow kids at a petting zoo. I have never met bigger douchebags in my life. I would literally rather disembowel myself with a jagged piece of glass than play hostess to those morons ever again. And his mother? Of course I could. Thank you so much. You saved me from the worst decision of my life. You're gonna meet a bitch, that's where you're gonna meet one, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. Give me a sip of that. What? Come on! My throat's dry as a motherfucker. Why? Is your mother dry when you're... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that, huh? Nothing. Well, it didn't sound like nothing, all right? It didn't seem like nothing. I don't think that it was nothing. No, I didn't mean nothing by it, old man. Old man? Old man! Fuck you, you creepy old motherfucker. That's right. I said it. Creepy. Old. Motherfucker. No. Jesus. Huh? No, come on. Get what? Up. What? What? Sorry. Now, where I'm were sorry. we exactly? Get up, huh? Get up. Oh. We're sorry, man. We're sorry. Help! Help! There's a guy with a gun. Asshole.
Redneck! Oh! I'll give you Redneck! Creepy now, am I? Eat this. I'm taking up the trash, Sandy Shores. Hey, bud. What you do? Nothing. What you up to, Cletus? Uh, hunting. Hunting? Hunting what? Retirees? Nah, just stuff. Windows, antenna, tires, vermin. Ah, so that was you. Tis the season for it. I don't give a shit about no season. <laughs> oh, good, huh? Don't let the regulations get you down. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey. You want to come hunting with me? It'd be real neighborly of you. Hell. Why not? All right then, up here with you. I got just a thing. Let's raise some hell, neighbor. Oh, I'm in. I'll introduce you to one of my all-time favorite pastimes. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Okay, you see them three big satellite dishes? A decent shot, and they'll go down easier than a whore's drawers. You're a real pillar of the community. Half the folks in this town would sell their own mother, and most of the other half already did. Screw them. <laughs> no more reality TV for you, Mrs. Gilbert. Okay, one more for the road. Yeah, that's it. Give Boom! <laughs> Didn't I tell you this would be more fun than a barrel full of pussies? Ooh, you're a classy day, Cletus. No denying that. <laughs> now drive us up to that abandoned motel. I got an even better idea. So, what now? We gonna try our luck on something less stationary. Ooh, liberals? Nothing as slippery as that, you'll see. You've got way too much time on your hands. Nah, this is just a bit of foolery. I've been busier than hell with the real hunting. The money and wild organic meat these days, you wouldn't believe. Them hipsters will give you their parents' last dime for it. It's gotten so I can't even keep up with the demand no more. All this eat local, small batch, farm to table bullshit. You know, I could maybe use another pair of hands if I can get you up to snuff with that rifle. 
You keep on criticizing my shooting, you'll be starring in a snuff with that rifle. Here we are. I bet you never shot out the tires on a car before? Oh, you'd be surprised. Well, let's see what you got then. Ain't you gonna shoot anything, Cletus? Nah, I do this all the time, and I wanna see how you deal with a moving target. Hey! This is perfect right here. Pick a car and shoot a tire. Good, plain, old-fashioned fun. Hellfire! Metal don't count. Come on, gotta show them sometimes you ain't a slave to the system. That's it, beauty. And again, Trevor. Nice, go on, one more, just for the hell of it. Pop the tires is much more fun. Cross the line! Hellfire, Trevor, you ain't rushing this, are you? Eh, yeah, not too bad, Trevor. Right, let's change it up. Come on, follow me. Don't get your panties in a wall now. Just two fellers killing time and smoke. <clears throat> Don't get much better than this, does it? The two most popular guys in town. Am I glad I ran into you? Ain't nowhere near this fun being antisocial on your own. Whatever cranks your tractor, I say. What's up next on the hillbilly anarchist agenda? Ever shot anything with a face? Actually, let me ask it again. Ever shot anything with a face on four legs? Now, Cletus, it's important you realize I'm a man plagued by vicious rumors. Fine. Let's head for the roof. I seen some coyotes hanging around down by the road. Reckon it would be real neighborly of us to get rid of a couple. And we are nothing if not neighborly. We'll get a better shot from up here. Him. Looks like we got two packs of coyotes down there. Take a few of them out and the rest should scatter. <laughs> Sing to me now, song dog, and another. Dropped it like a bad hat. What? That should do it. Nicely done. I reckon you should tag along next time I go hunting out at Polito Bay. I'll show you how to bag an elk. Eh, why not? All right, gotta go. I'll send you a text when I'm about. Don't aim at something you ain't prepared to kill. Bottle. It's none of your business, huh? okay? Hey, huh? it's a slight accent. Huh? Fuck you. Hey, so huh? I grew up in Canada, huh? huh? What's a big fucking deal? Huh? You fucking whoa, whoa, racist! Whoa, 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 whoa. And before hey. you fucking ask, chill, home, chill. no, I'm not a motherfucker.
to say it, didn't ya? Give a damn about your damn girl's crap! Nice piece, dawg. Hey, hey, yo, yo, who the fuck is this motherfucker? Hey, what's cracking on me? What you doing around here, man? Me? Yeah, you, motherfucker. You. What? I'm talking to you, motherfucker. Who else you think I'm talking to, homeboy? I'm getting bored of this. <laughs> what? It's what? not legally fucking if you do not penetrate. Oh, ah, shit, man. Oh, Fucker. Hit me in fuck. the nose, nigga.
only one of me! It's going to a good home. Unfortunately, you'll have to wait to ride the T-Train. This car's too small. I bet I could hit your G-Shot every time. Hey man, no more autographs. Hey, that's okay. I want something more personal. Piss off, you twat, before I kick your ass. I'd say my work is done here. It's gonna strip the screw there. You can't put the cap on. No, it's a nut, man. You just screw it back on. Hey, what are you doing here, citizen? I said, what are you doing here, citizen? Nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. You're clearly a tourist. For our friends from up north, eh? A boot? <laughs> Don't even say it like that! There's a moose loose a boot to hoos! Fuck off, you hoosier! Hey, hey, what's hey, that boot? Hey, hey, oh, Jesus! It's a hey. faint fucking accent! Get out of here! You can hardly come on, tell! Come on! Hey, insurgent! Shit. Insurgent! We have contact! We have contact! Country.
U.S. military has to offer? something that's very much post-post irony. I told him I'd make a movie about his ass and call it Cunts in America. But that would be the post-ironic use of the word cunt, both offensive and at the same time curiously anodyne. <sighs> hey, what the fuck? I find your t-shirt more than a little offensive. If there's one thing I cannot stand, it's post-ironic hipsters. If you don't like it, you can go back to Canada, dude. Come on, you want a piece of me, huh? Oh, wait. Oh, fuck! Oh, Run, God. you little fuck! Cultural enough for ya! You're posthumously ironic now! <laughs> 